loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's unit is from AF Sister Wigs. And this unit I ended up getting in 18 inches in a loose wave texture. So with these units, they do come pre-plucked and they do come bleached. And the hairline really does look good, you guys. Um, but they also have a new method. So with their new method, they do what they call the invisible knots. So everyone knows that knots are the basically how the hair is tied onto the lace. And they create these little black dots that people always see and nobody likes, okay? So with typical units, they have about maybe four or five strands of hair per knot so that's why the knots tend to look so thick and they stand out so much but with AF sister wig units as you can see their knots are super duper tiny because they only tie one to two strands of hair per hole on the lace if that makes sense so the entire unit or the entire lace part of the unit has single stranded knots on it so you do not have to bleach it if you don't want to but they do slightly bleach it themselves for you you can go over it if you you want to but you guys know that sometimes bleaching does strip the hair and when the hair is stripped it causes the knots to come out and causes you to get ball spots or causes your frontal to just become hella thin um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just wet the unit first just because I had it balled up inside the box And I want to see what the curls look like So I'm just taking a little bit of water first and then I'm gonna go in with something super light That's gonna dry really quick. So that's why I'm using the dew mousse um, So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and put this all over the hair and then I'm going to air dry it and show you guys What it looks like So here is the unit once it is completely dry and as you can see the curls are absolutely beautiful and I forgot to tell you guys in the beginning that they have the lace listed as transparent Swiss lace and you know what transparent lace is supposed to be good for all skin tones and it's supposed to melt down really good and I'm going to do a close up once I put the unit on and stuff so I can show you guys exactly what it looks like but right now I'm just going to go ahead and cut the remainder of the lace off and as you guys can see I like to get as close to the hairline as possible I haven't done anything to this unit you guys but wet it and cut the lace off it also comes with the adjustable um, elastic band so I'm gonna go ahead and put the unit on so you guys can see that this unit is really like an out-of-the-box unit especially if you don't want to do any customizing or you're scared to bleach it or anything like that because it comes with everything already done and as you guys can see the hairline does look really good but um, the wig was a little bit too long from ear to ear so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the ear tabs a bit just so that that it fits my hair perfectly um, and yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and cut around the ears and get it to lay So like always, going to take my favorite two adhesives and it's the clear got to be glue in the black bottle and then I like to go on top of that with a little bit of the free spray. If you guys want a detailed video on how I do anything like how I apply the units or how I pluck them or anything like that, I'll go ahead and leave some videos down below in the description box for you guys so don't forget to check that out. Um, also, everything will be down there for like everything that I'm using including the sprays or any of the names of anything, the links to my wig head, the wig stand, the coupon codes everything will be down below so don't forget to check that out and now I am just fanning it to let it dry while I drink my sea moss smoothie comment down below and let me know if any of you guys are thinking about or have tried sea moss because I've been on this kick for like two weeks now and I absolutely love it um, so yeah this is just me showing you guys a slow-mo close-up of what it should look like when you're using the got to be glue like how sticky it should be before you place the unit on I feel like I've never showed that before um, so yeah once it is that sticky if you can see it sticking to my hand I can go ahead and just place the unit down to melt it into my skin so now I can show you guys a close-up of what the lace and the knots look like once it's on my skin. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking a little bit of the clear got to be glue and using um, the end of my rat tail comb and kind of just pressing down the ends of the lace to make sure everything gets melted into my forehead. Typically you want to put your units on with clean skin and no makeup because sometimes when the, any adhesive honestly, when it mixes with your foundation it can create kind of like a gunk and make it kind of look messy. Um, so yeah, I shouldn't have did this with makeup on but I already have my makeup done when I filmed this video so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and continue going around the perimeter to make sure no pieces are lifting like that little piece that you guys just seen and then I can go ahead and blow dry it a bit before I tie it down for about 10 minutes
So the reason why I blow dry it a bit before I tie the scarf on is so that the scarf doesn't stick to the um, gel or to the hairline because sometimes if it's not like dry enough when you tie it down sometimes the scarf will like peel up and it'll peel the lace up or like peel up the glue around the edges and it just looks nasty. So here is a close up of what the unit looks like 100% dry after I took the scarf off and if you guys can see it looks really really good um, but then I decided that I wanted to pluck it a little bit more like pluck the hairline a little bit more and I wanted to add a few baby hairs so that's what I'm going to do next I'm just going to part out a really thin layer um, of hair and begin plucking the hairline in the front just a little bit more just to get it thinned out although it does look amazing right here um, so yeah I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back So I went ahead and pulled the hair back just to get it out of my way and now I can work on the baby hairs. The single stranded knots really, really, really make the baby hairs look amazing because they're so thin and it's not a whole bunch of hair in the front it's just really really thin pieces of hair so they create excellent baby hairs but I'm just parting them out and then taking my razor to cut them and then I'm going to use my lovely beast edge control to slip them Once the baby hairs are done, I can take my foundation powder. This is the BH Cosmetics foundation powder in the shade 240. Um, and I just like to go over the hairline area just to get it to blend in a little bit more with my natural skin tone. And then I ended up adding a little bit more mousse to the hair because from me like plucking and combing through it so much, it kind of made it kind of frizzy. Um, so I took this ponytail down and then I added a little bit more mousse and I also put a little bit of foundation part, um, not part, a little bit of foundation powder into my middle part. So yeah, that is it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit that little notification bell so you guys are notified every time I post. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. safe with you.
love you You want me now, I know you do I know you're being patient and I love you for that You show me how to dare to love So tell me what you're thinking of Cause I won't be afraid not holding anything back Don't know if I'm dreaming, I'm sleeping Face. I never knew you could love someone like me. 